Good morning to all present here. We welcome you to the 47th Founders Day celebrations of Good Shepherd International School. The chief guest for the day is Mr. Sangeet Vergis, Global Strategy Expert. Today's program will begin with the march past. The bugle call will announce the arrival of the chief guest. The buglers are Sanmay Ahlani, Rupansh Bajaj, Pawan Kumar Hegde, Akash Babu, Kevin Vijay, and Agnil Ryan. The chief guest will be escorted by the guard commanders, Hridan Bijal Dathani, Rinav Shah, Kanisha Shah, and Ishika Agarwal. The guard commander of the Sea Cadet Corps, leading cadet Siddhan Sinha, will invite the chief guest to review the parade. The chief guest accompanied by the director of activities, Mr. Dominic Jude Hurst, and the guard commander will review the guard of honor as the senior pipe band plays the tune, Pride of Scotland. The march past will be led by the equestrian contingent. The equestrian contingent consists of led by the equestrian contingent will be led by Dev Rajesh Desai and Kanisha Shah. Dev Rajesh Desai will ride on red hot jet with the sword and Kanisha Shah will ride on great expectation with the flag. In their wake will be Rinav Shah, Khridan Bijal Dattani, Ishika Agarwal, Kanisha Shah. They'll be followed by the SEC Girls Platoon, led by leading cadets, Advait Panchal. The march past will be led by the equestrian contingent. Hemangani, the girls' school captain, bearing the school flag, will be followed by the boys' school captain. Shiv Manish Punjabi bearing the school insignia. The guard commander of the Sea Cadet Corps, leading cadet Sidhan Sinha will be followed by the rifle contingent. They'll be followed by the SEC Girls Platoon led by leading cadets Advait Panchal, Yashasvi Singh Thakur, Yashvi Gajera, and Nishi Dobaria. The SEC Boys Platoon will be led by the leading cadets Yashdeep Singh, Meetraj Singh, and Purjeet Singh Vaghela. Spring House will follow the SEC platoon, Parishi Thakur, the girls' house captain, holding the flag, and Sidan Soni, the boys' house captain, holding the placard, will lead their house. The junior brass band playing the tune Shantipat will follow Spring House. The band majors are Atulia Milan Kode, Kevin John Joseph Mudalali, and Amit Goel. Junior Brass Band will be followed by Summer House, led by Purva Amit Patel, the girls' house captain, bearing the house flag, and Shlok Sorathia, the boys' house captain, holding the placard. The Pipe Band, playing the tune, Valley of the Green, will follow Summer House, led by the band majors S. Varshita, Hansi Gandhi, and Mithali Raman. They'll be followed by Autumn House. The flag bearer will be Namya Surana, the girl's house captain. Following her will be Yash Chohan, the boy's house captain, holding the placard. Following Autumn House, we will have Winter House, led by Pragati Prakash, the girl's house captain, holding the flag, and the placard holder, A.P. Magiran, the boy's house captain. They'll be followed by the senior brass band, led by the band majors, who are Shaurveer Malik, Hargun Singh, and Naman Punamiya. The brass band will play the tunes Vijay Bharatam and Bharat Ke Jawan. Ladies and gentlemen, the bugle call will announce the arrival of the chief guest.
We extend a warm welcome to our chief guest, Mr. Sangeet Vargis, global strategy expert.
we now have the band display. A lamp serves as a beacon of hope, representing the pursuit of truth and the power of education to dispel ignorance. Just as a lamp dispels darkness, it signifies the enlightenment of the human mind. The three bands and the two SCC platoons will create the first formation, a lamp. Brass band will play the tune Gods of War. Drummer's Call. It is a piece of military music. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall witness a percussive feat from the drummers of the pipe and the brass bands. They will delight the audience with their pulsating beats. The drummers will move forward for the first drummer's call.
The drummer's call will be conducted by Mr. Prabhakar Chaudhary, the pipe band master. The first drummer's call was conducted by Mr. Prabhakar Chaudhary, the pipe band master.
bands in SCC platoons will now get into their next formation, diamonds. Just as diamonds are crafted under pressure, education shapes individuals into gems of wisdom. Diamonds reflect the enduring value of learning, symbolizing the priceless qualities that one gains through the pursuit of knowledge and lifelong education. The brass bands will play the soulful tune, Haste Lushai, while our marchers skillfully arrange themselves in the form of diamonds. My band will now play Showers of Blessings. We will now have another round of beats to entertain you. The second drummer's call will be played on Scottish drums to the accompaniment of trumpets by drummers from the senior brass band. It will be conducted by Mr. Reju A.R., the brass band master.
Dear ladies and gentlemen, your kind attention, please. All ex Shepherdians are requested to assemble on the green after the master presentation for a photograph. I repeat, all ex Shepherdians are requested to assemble on the green after the mass drill presentation for a photograph. Thank you. A mass drill will be performed by the students of middle school now. This performance will reveal the excellence of our students when it comes to coordination and timekeeping. It will also remind you But preceding the mass drill, before our middle school students are here to enthrall you with their acrobatic moves, we have a dance session for our parents. Dear parents and guardians, this dance session is for parents by the parents. You are requested to kindly move down to the green. You will be led by Mr. Sudarshan and Ms. Angshita of the Performing Arts Department. The dance instructors who had a fantastic dance show yesterday, I'm sure you'll be privileged to have them on field and uh, take you through a session. Uh, parents, to please come on, on the field. Parents, to please come on the field. We have a small, short dance session. Let's see who's better. Your children or you? Uh, students, give a big hand for your parents. Big round of applause for all your parents. Join us. Short five minutes. We have our dance teachers, we have our drama teacher, and we have a person who was there with the controls last evening to take you through the session. Come on, on the green. The brave men have come. The first saying the men are really brave. Fantastic. That is absolutely sporting. Yes, uh, weather's fantastic. Can all get warmed up a bit. We can take on more on board. Free dance movements. If you don't feel like following the instructions, you can do your own along with the music. Woo! Volume louder. We don't need teachers yet, they're too good. That's why the parents are teachers so fantastic. Come on! Space out 
and take the entire field. We all step on out three. You can spread out and take the field. Here we go for Lungi Dance!
There is a gentle request to all our dear parents and guardians. The gentle request is to refrain from meeting your wards and we request your cooperation in the smooth conduct of this outdoor program. Thank you. As announced earlier, we will now have the mass drill performance by the students of middle school. This performance will reveal the excellence of students when it comes to coordination and timekeeping. It will also remind you of their skills as budding gymnasts and acrobats. Mass drills are a form of synchronized physical activity that emphasize coordination, teamwork, and precision on a large scale. Participants perform specific movements or routines in unison, requiring them to move in perfect harmony with one another. These drills demand a high level of discipline and attention to detail. Mass drills are often used in sports and public events to showcase the power of collective effort. They not only improve physical fitness, but also foster a sense of unity, discipline, and pride among participants, highlighting the importance of working together seamlessly towards a common goal. The use of parachutes, hoops and pom-poms are excellent ways to promote physical fitness, social interaction and overall well-being in children. These activities also foster important life skills like teamwork, communication, cardiovascular fitness, strength and coordination, balance and spatial awareness, creativity, imagination and inclusivity. This masteral performance will entertain you Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? It's time for the final countdown. The show starts in...
Si el ritmo te lleva a mover la cabeza y empezamos como es Mi música no discrimina a nadie así que vamos a romper Toda mi gente se mueve, mira el ritmo como los tiene Hago música que entretiene, el mundo nos quiere, nos quiere, me quiere a mí Toda mi gente se mueve, mira el ritmo como los tiene Hago música que entretiene, mi música los tiene fuerte bailando y se baila Shuffling Your kind attention, please. All ex Shepherdians are requested to assemble on the green now for a photograph. Thank you. Dear parents and guardians, the brave young mountaineers of Good Shepherd International School are here to perform feats of daredevilry. 
Various mountaineering skills will be exhibited in today's program and they'll take you to a world of adventure and thrills. We begin the show with overhang jamaring, a technique climbers use to ascend a rope. It is also known as rock climbing. Ladies and gentlemen, parents and guardians, to your left we have Prajit Mugundan, Abdul Sattar, Harman Arvindbhai Viradia performing overhang jamaring. Let's give a huge round of applause for that nonchalant display of confidence and skill as these young mountaineers climb up that height. Dear parents and guardians, our students are trained by certified instructors from the best institute in the country and the most prestigious mountaineering skills institute in Asia, the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering, Uttarkashi Himalayas. We next have overhang grappling, which will be performed by Hiteshri Patel, Krisha Dodat, and Arvi Kishorbhai Ramani. Rappling is a controlled descent down a rock with the use of ropes. It is also known as abseiling. Please give them a big round of applause. There's a moment in your bones when, when the fire takes over. Blood is running, heart is pumping as the battle gets closer. from the right, performing Rope Traverse. you are witnessing is where Prajwal of grade 8 is being rescued by Mrusha Jignesh by Sengjalia. Yeah, I'm not 
demonstrated by Kunga Chenzombangra from the left and Kahan Karas from the right. Can you say the same thing about you? Let's remember that such things require a great sense of self-possession and confidence that are not easy to achieve. Since she allowed me to our students as we perform the second rescue operation. Serenity, all you want is fortune and fame And the code to the gate Which I don't even like to give away Cause I've been going through Some shit I never thought I would I stay in the hills, I don't even go to Hollywood Toxic people in my life, man, I probably should Cut them all off, man, or else if they was gone for good Yoga is a holistic system of physical, mental, and spiritual practice that promotes well-being, inner peace, and self-awareness. And Tai Chi is an ancient Chinese martial art, also known as Tai Chi Chuan. Yoga and Tai Chi are both ancient practices that have their roots in Eastern philosophy and offer the same range of psychological, intellectual, and internally positive aspects. The concept of yoga and Tai Chi is about the interconnectedness, balance, and understanding of the natural duality and harmony that exists in the universe. Both yoga and Tai Chi incorporate deep breathing, mental concentration, and slow flowing motions frequently referred to as a moving meditation. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's presentation, our students will get into two formations, one, the concentric circles, and the other, the yin-yang symbol, which represents harmony and balance. In these formations, students in the outer circle will perform Tai Chi movements, while those in the inner circle will showcase yoga postures. Please welcome our performers. अनेक जन्म कृतम पापम दर्शनेन विनश्यति Sivyaman Pavanangri Pankajam Vyala Yagya Sutra Vindu Shekharam Kripakaram Naradadi Yogi Vrindu Vanditam Digambaram Kashika Puradinath Kalabairavam Vajay Dhanu Koti Vaswaram Bhavapitara Kamparam Nila Kanta Meepsitath Daya Kantri Lochanam
you will now witness our students on horseback exhibiting their expertise in taming horses with dexterity. It is now the time for the equestrian display. Equestrianism, more often known as horse riding or horseback riding, refers to the skill of riding, driving, steeple chasing, or vaulting with horses. Today's equestrian sports can trace their roots as far back as ancient Greece, where dressage was developed as a way to prepare horses for war. The horse riders will be led by Dev Dasai, and they'll first salute the guests before beginning their show. The show jumpers are Zarjish Ahmad Mullah, Omkar Bhavesh Kunt, Dev Rajesh Desai, Reenav Shah, Pranav Goel, and Josh Desai. Parents and guardians, the horse riders led by Dev Dasai just made their salute to our honorable guests.
Students are requested not to clap, hoot or make other noises as it may distract the horses.
Dear parents and guardians, it is now the time for show jumping. Show jumping is one of the most dynamic and engaging equestrian events to watch. In a show jumping event, the stamina, speed and flexibility of the horse are tested along with the relationship that the horse has with its rider. Today's show jumpers are Zarjish Ahmed Mullah. Zarjish will ride the horse greatest of all. Following Zarjish, we have Omkar Bhavesh Kund, and he'll ride Chel Chabila. Dev Rajesh Desai will ride Red Hot Jet. Reenav Shah will ride Great Expectation. Pranav Goel rides Captain America, and Jash Desai rides Catwalk Queen. Watching a well-coordinated horse and rider team navigate a show jumping course can be an exhilarating experience. And there we go. That's Omkar Bhavesh Kund.
Dear parents and guardians, with that we come to the end of today's equestrian display. Let's give a huge round of applause to our students. We thank the coaches of the Physical Education Department and the Equestrian Department for their training and support for this equestrian display. Thank you very much. I now request Abraham Jacob and Araya Vassani to escort the chief guest, Mr. Sangeet Vargis and Mrs. Anno Sangeet to the stage facing the pavilion. I now request Abraham Jacob of grade 11 to deliver the welcome address. Welcome to the 47th Founders Day of Good Shepherd International School. We're just three years away from hitting the Golden Jubilee. Our school is still standing triumphant. We hope you all enjoyed yesterday's display of the culmination of immense effort and time. I take this opportunity to welcome our chief guest, Mr. Sangeet Varghese, his esteemed wife, Mrs. Anu Varghese, and his well-known son, Zach Varghese. Mr. Varghese is a global leadership thinker, ranked among the top 10 in 2011 from the Harvard and London School of Economics. He is a personal advisor to three prime ministers of the world on matters of leadership and youth development. He's an ambassador of Harvard and listed in the Who's Who in the world 2012 to 2013. He has consulted for nations from Africa and Asia, UNO, World Bank, ADB, and Fortune 500 corporations like Microsoft, Intel, Unilever, and Coca-Cola. The World Economic Forum nominated him as the Young Global Leader 2010. He was the face of the 2010-2011 Annual Report of the Center for Creative Leadership, USA, for his unique contributions to the world of leadership development. Sir, it is indeed a proud moment for Good Shepherd International School to have you in our midst for the Founders' Day celebrations. Please accept a bouquet, sir and ma'am, as a token of our welcome. We welcome all members 
of the advisory committee of the school, the senior management team, co-founder, Ms. Elsma Thomas, president, Mr. Jacob Thomas, and senior vice principal, student and staff welfare, Ms. Sarah Jacob, and our principal, Dr. Madhav Dio Saraswat. I also welcome the members of the media and press. Most importantly, I would like to welcome our dear parents, guardians, well-wishers, and alumni of the school. Thank you all for motivating us with your presence. All of us hope that we have made this event a memorable one for you. Thank you. We will now have the distribution of special awards and prizes. I request Mrs. Anu Sangeet to kindly give away the medals and prizes. We will begin with the recipients of the Elsama Thomas Gold Medal for Excellence in the Board Examinations held in the year 2023. From the ISC Science Group, we have T. M. Sneha Rosalind Madeha. T. M. Sneha Rosalind Madeha stood first in the ISC Science Group. She will receive the medal along with her parents. From the ISC Commerce Group, M. Nishwant Abhinav stood first. His parents will collect the medal on his behalf. In the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, we have Viveka Vinod Bhai Rabara, who stood first. Mr. Amrish Patel, father of Zuri of grade four and Emmy of grade seven, will receive the medal on behalf of Viveka. We next have the scholarship for academic excellence given to students who top the ICSE and IGCSE board examinations. The following students have proved eligible for scholarship in grade 11. From ICSE, we have Nidhi Agarwal. Nidhya Garwal from ICSC with her parents. And from ICSC, we also have S. Varshita. Your 
S. Varshita from ICSE will receive the Certificate of Appreciation along with her parents. From IGCSE, we have four students, Hansika Sanaya, Sudarshan Karbari. <laughs> Henil Sanjay Bai Batani. And Prajit Mukundin. We next have a special award to appreciate the academic excellence of Kevin John Joseph Mudalali, who secured a centum in four subjects in the Indian Certificate of Secondary Education held in March 2023. His consistent hard work and determination that led to scoring excellent marks in all the subjects are highly appreciated. We will now have the distribution of cups and shields for the various inter-house competitions held in the year 2022-2023. Spring House has won the cup for elocution. The cup for art competition goes to Summer House. The cup for rifle and pistol shooting goes to Autumn House. <laughs> Winter House has won the cup for aquatics.
The trophy for badminton goes to Spring House. Summer House has bagged the Abhilash Patnaik Memorial Rolling Trophy for Cross Country. Autumn House has won the trophy for Symphony and Rock Band. The trophy for Cricket has been bagged by Winter House. The Sharanga Buragohain Memorial Shield for Academics is shared by Spring House and Autumn House. The cup for dramatics is shared by Summer, Winter and Autumn House. The shield for March past, finalized after today's performance, goes to Spring House. And now for the much awaited results of the championship shield. In the fourth place, we have Summer House with 989 points. In the third place is Winter House with 1002 points. In the second place is Autumn House with 1053 points. And the winner of the Shield for Overall Championship for the year 2022-2023 is Spring House with 1,075 points.
Congratulations, winners. Thank Bring you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. I now request the chief guest to address all gathered here. Imagine, just imagine, one of our friends who's seated over here today with us would go on to secure the All India rank number one in IIT JE examination. Big deal? Very big deal. 30 lakh students write the IIT JE NEET exam every year. And the ones who secure admission? Just 2%. So one of our friends become the All India ranks number one. And he goes on to select the best IIT, IIT Bombay. And he takes computer science, the most sought after program. He graduated at the top of his class. <clears throat> and as the employers make a beeline for him, he chose to join Microsoft. And the first day of Microsoft, he is given a very strategic project, an extremely futuristic, an extremely strategic, the most important project of Microsoft, a coding project. So our friend sits in his cabin and he realizes that he should be drawing upon every single knowledge, every single learning, every single good thing which he has learned up till that time. So he started thinking to complete this coding project, what is the knowledge that he should be drawing from? Should it be inorganic chemistry? Organic chemistry? Physical chemistry? Or to complete this coding job, should he be drawing from thermodynamics, electromagnetism, modern physics, optics, or to complete this coding job? Should he be drawing from mathematics, calculus, algebra, geometry? And suddenly our friend realizes none of these might be useful. But that's such a shame. Because for the last so many years he has been told that mathematics, physics, chemistry, focus
Now, here is another friend of ours, again from your school. She decides to go back and join her family business. The first day of her family business, she is taking over a department. And the mandate which is given to her is that she should be making this the number one in India, the best in India. So she gets into a war room to prepare a strategic plan. And she realizes again, she should be drawing from the best of everything, whatever she has learned. The best of everything she has been given. So what would it be? Would she draw from Bronze Age? Iron Age, Reformation, Renaissance, Industrial Revolution, Colonization, India's fight for independence, or should it be geography, climatology, oceanography, structure of the earth, ecology, or should it be the theories of political science, theories of state, democracy, justice? Suddenly she realizes none of these would help her. And that's again a shame. Because she has been told for the last so many years, this is what she should be focusing on. And when the moment of truth came in, she found no help. So now, we come to our existential question. What is an existential question? An existential question is a question that determines life and death. An existential question. Are the subjects we are learning today in school useful at all when we go and build our future? All children, in all their immaturity, have asked the same questions to parents who appear to be the most mature. What am I learning math for? What am I learning physics for? I'm not interested in chemistry. I'm least bothered about history. Why should I learn? Would I be applying trigonometry? Would I be apply applying Pythagoras theorem when I grow up? existential question. Existential question. Okay, I have got news for you. Behind the math, behind the physics, behind the chemistry, behind the history, behind economics, behind civics, behind political science, behind all the subjects that we learn, hidden behind the iron curtains, there is a set of life skills called the transferable skills. So behind the iron walls of mathematics, physics, and chemistry, you learn the transferable skills. How do you learn math? You learn math through something which is called logic. 
you solve a problem through logic you solve a problem through rationality you solve a problem through attention to details and most importantly you solve a problem a big problem by breaking it down into smaller parts smaller steps and then you solve it and suddenly it dawns upon our friend remember the all india rank number 1 that this transferable skill is what he would be applying today and behind the patina laden stone walls of history and geography and civics and political science again we see a set of transferable skills critical thinking big thinking thinking out of the box attention to details and most importantly how do you churn through barrage of data reams of data that is given to you and come up with one key insight transferable skills and our friend suddenly realizes sitting in that war room for strategic planning it is exactly these skills which he would be using the critical thinking skills the big thinking skills the out of box thinking skills and most importantly humanism empathy and it is not just about math or physics or chemistry or history or civics or geography even when you do theaters performing arts music sports equestrian you imbibe you absorb the transferable skills the transferable skills of camaraderie working together teamwork attention to details spontaneity how do you deal with contingencies and the best part about transferable skills as you go through your school years 10 to 12 years every day rutting over mathematics and physics and chemistry and theater and music and history and geography and civics these become part of you these become part of your muscle memory just like swimming just like cycle balance once learned you never forget so i want to give you two assurances today the first assurance when you go out of these misty floral walls of good shepherds it's a big bad world out there the challenges which you face in your latter part of the life will be bigger will be larger will be nastier than the problem than any one of those problems which you faced inside the school and the second assurance and when you face those big nasty challenges in your life which comes uninvited like a thief in the darkness
there is one thing that is going to save our day, the transferable skills. So good luck to all of us. Thank you. The expression of gratitude will be delivered by Araya Vastani of grade 11. According to St. Ambrose, who lived many years ago, no duty is more urgent than that of expressing thanks. So I'm honored to have been given this pleasant duty of proposing the vote of thanks this morning to everyone that has helped make this Founders Day a special one. First and foremost, I would like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Sangeet Varghese, along with his wife, Anu Varghese, and son, Zach Varghese, for gracing this school event. Sir, Thank you for encouraging us by your inspiring presence and your words of appreciation. Sir and ma'am, please expect, accept a memento on behalf of the school community. Our heartfelt gratitude goes out to the members of the advisory committee of the school. I would like to thank our school's senior leadership team um, our school co-founder, Ms. Elsa, Elsa Ma Thomas, our president, Mr. Jacob Thomas, our vice president, student and staff welfare, Ms. Sarah Jacob, and our principal and director, Dr. Madhav Dio Saraswat. Your organizational skills are really appreciated. Director of activities, coordinators, teachers, you're bringing together all the students present here on literally one platform has been really commendable. And we extend a big thank you for giving us all the opportunities to bring out our very best and showcase our talents. You have always been generous with your time when your students needed you no matter what. A special thank you goes out to the dance and music department. I also thank the head of the PE department and his team. Sound engineer, the IT team, the team of electricians, and the campus supervisors and your IT team, thank you for the efforts put in for the show. Next, I would like to thank our dorm parents, dorm nurses, and our dearest Chechis and Annas, without whose help we would have not been able to put up this show. I would like to thank all the parents, guardians, well-wishers, and alumni for making it to this auspicious occasion and celebrating the 47th Founders Day with the whole GSIS family. A big thank you to all the participants for making this event a grand and memorable one. Thank you all once again. All are requested to rise for the national anthem. Attention!